क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री ऑफ जे मेन टू थाउजेंड एंड अ पॉइंट पार्टिकल ऑफ मास एम मूविंग अलोंग द यूनिफॉर्मली रफ क्रैक पी क्यू आर एज शोन इन द फिगर द कोफेशन ऑफ फ्रिक्शन बिटवीन द पार्टिकल एंड रफ क्रैक इक्वल्स म्यू द पार्टिकल इज रिलीज फ्राम रेस्ट फ्राम द पॉइंट पी एंड इट कम्स टू रेस्ट एट पॉइंट आर द एनर्जी इज लॉस्ड बाई द बॉल ओवर द पार्ट पी क्यू एंड क्यू आर ऑफ द ट्रैक आर इक्वल टू इच अदर and no energy is lost when particle changes direction from pq to qr the values of coefficient of friction mu and the distance x is equal to qr are respectively close to and then they have given four options the coefficient of friction is usually between 0 to 1 sometimes it can be more than 1 but it's near about that so let's see how we can solve this problem so there the there are few important things in this question that they have mentioned that i have underlined in the question uh, coefficient of friction the next is that the point the ball is released from point p to and it com comes to complete rest at point r which means the energy is completely lost from point p and then when it comes to rest at r the energy is completely lost and it comes to rest so let's do a little bit of theory review and uh, let's see if uh, we can solve this problem coefficient of friction coefficient of friction is it shows the relationship between the force of friction and normal reaction what is normal reaction normal reaction is normal force if an object is placed on table as in this diagram if an object is placed on a table then the force due to gravity is in this direction on the object straight down and then the object is not going through the table so the table is exerting a normal force normal means perpendicular so it's perpendicular to the surface of the table and it will be in this direction this is the normal force which is equal to the gravitational force otherwise the object will go through the table this object so Uh, that's what normal force is so by definition mu is equal to f f upon f n where if you look at this expression f f is force due to friction and f n is the, the normal force so if i send f n here then force due to friction is equal to mu times f n so how do we approach this question in the question it is given that when the ball moves from p to q and then from q to r the energies lost are equal so energy in this portion and in this portion there will be some energy lost due to friction and they are saying that this is equal to this so we'll use this in our um, solution so what is the energy loss due to friction we have seen that force of friction is equal to mu times fn so uh, we'll use this mu times fn and then energy is the same as the work done and the formula for work done is w is equal to force time distance so this expression we'll use this ex this expression right here work is equal to force into distance so substituting this force into distance in this expression we will get mu times force times distance where f is the normal normal force so what we will get is mu times mg cos theta pq so th this is what we will get mu times mg times cos theta pq is equal to mu times mg times qr where this part is the normal force mg cos theta and pq is the distance over which the ball rolls and this should be equal to mu times mg which is the normal force times qr which is this small distance the small distance so the normal force when the ball is here is simply m into g so 
the gravitational force m into g is pointing downwards and an equal normal force equal amount of normal force will push it up the surface will exert a normal force in this direction so since they are equal i can write mu times mg times qr so force times distance and then mu which comes from here but in this case i have to write cos theta now where did we get this mg cos theta times pq this is an important uh, expression and uh, we should know this for solving any j question there will be there may be more j questions based on this um, on this concept how do we derive the normal force when the object is placed at an angle with the surface or, or the surface is at an angle it's not flat what is the normal force exerted by an inclined plane on an object so let's see how we derive this expression you can remember it but uh, it's nice to know where it came from so let's uh, so I've redrawn this uh, the diagram given in the question so this point is P this point is Q and this point is R the ball rolls from P to Q and then rests at R so in the question is given that this angle is 30 degrees this is 90 degrees so we know the sum of angles in a triangle is 180 degrees so this is 60 degrees now when the ball is rolling the normal force exerted will be in this direction perpendicular to the surface right so it's perpendicular to the surface and then the force of gravitation the force due to gravitation will be in this in this direction so this